All right, so we're gonna finish this up with our DC circuit here. Now, down here in this lower corner, this is what we're going to be putting together down here. Now, one thing I, I may have uh, mis-explained in one of the first videos is you see these two terminal blocks. Let me click out of this. These two right here that's talking about uh, line terminals for uh, another PLC. Um, these are actually, you could buy PLCs that actually have an input power of 24 volt DC. We decided to do 120 volts just because it's uh, a little bit, it was a little bit cheaper and we already have 120 volts on the on our board and it just was easier for us we felt. Um, plus it gave a little bit more practice using some different different voltages but just know you can get uh, these PLCs in different types of voltages and that's what this is explaining right here. So but what we were really going to be working on is probably this right here. So what's going to happen is you're going to have your 120 volts and we can see it up here it's coming in at 120 volts it's entering our AC to DC converter right here and it's coming out as DC power. Well it's pretty simple all we're gonna need to do is actually hook up this this contact right here which we've already set up because remember it's up here in our e our uh, e stop circuit we just gotta run it through this or right here and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take them to our blue and white terminal blocks so that's all we're gonna do this is actually a really pretty simple circuit we do need to hook up the 120 volt and then we do need to run it through that contact in our relay otherwise this is a this is pretty much a cakewalk for you guys um, you should have already hooked up this AC to DC converter multiple times it should be nothing for you so let's go ahead and let's check out my circuit that I've already put together and I'll kind of explain it a little bit more to you guys okay alright guys so we're gonna alright so here is the circuit and I've already got it working and everything so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you on my multimeter that I've got my 24 volts DC um, and all I did was I ran the 120 volts up to the bottom, came out of my uh, DC transfer uh, converter, um, and then went with the, the negative side up to my white terminal block, and with the blue side I went around and up into the contact up in here for my relay. Now, I want to show you how this works. What happens is if I press the stop button, suddenly I have no power at my terminal blocks. So I'm going to be getting all my power over here to take to my uh, my uh, PLC from these terminal blocks. So if they don't have power, nothing is going to run. And that's how the e-stop circuit works on this. So again, I mean, if you hit the e-stop button, it's going to turn that coil off again and I'm not going to have power. So just there you go. Oh, oh and I'm sorry, let me re-explain that. My, my blue wire actually comes out through my breaker up and around into the contact from the contact over to here okay so hopefully that's a pretty simple circuit for you to put together and i hope you understand how this e-stop e circuit works what i'd like is you to submit a video showing me the correct operation of this circuit um, and submit that also one other thing i want to talk about is if this thing's running right now oh sorry i pulled it back out if this is running my plc is on but even when I turn it off, my PLC is still on, okay? So the reason we do that is we don't want the PLC to turn off. That way it doesn't reset where it is in the program or anything like that. This, is, this stays you know, the same, but the actual inputs and outputs are being turned off here at these terminal blocks, okay? So, uh, and some of the other things, these do not have to be separated like I have them. You can shove these all together. You don't have to have the breakers on the different sides. I did that just for pure, you know, me. But you could have all your breakers together. You could have everything pushed together um, and make this as small as you like. It's totally up to you. Um, but otherwise, just like I said, make that video. Get that submitted. Um, I'll have the schematic still linked below. But this one's pretty simple, okay? So good luck. Go ahead and uh, get that done.